Well, Adam, uh, opportunity lost tonight in a couple of different ways. What went wrong? Yeah, yeah, it was a missed opportunity. Uh, Hawthorne played really well. Um, probably the fundamentals in the end for us, you know, really. So some of the critical contests that we lost, they made us pay. Um, but across the board, I, I suppose the, the basics was where we, we fell down. So system or strategy, more just opportunities to be clean or convert, you know, those type of uh, situations we're normally pretty good at. We weren't mm. tonight and they were really good. So the way they played, the way they handled the night and the situation and the event was better than us. So um, we're going to tip our hats to, to Hawthorne. Did that, it did seem that way, the, the clean ball you see guys are known for wasn't quite there tonight. Something was a little off with the turnovers. and Was that yeah, I'm part of sure their pressure? I thought or? the only thing that we had going for us at stages was our ball movement. Um, you know, in the first two and a half quarters probably anyway, it was that's all we relied on and we just don't want to do that. So we're, we're normally better in situations that require um, a win or half and we, did, we didn't execute that. So when you've got to rely on ball movement in your back half, it doesn't stand up. So we've got some work to do, but we're, we're still alive. Um, trying to find the balance with our players and supporters and members is, you know, disappointing tonight, but we're alive and we're, we're going to have a good shake at it. Are you happy with the mix you've got? I know it's a work in progress, but in terms of maybe your backline personnel and with the Schofield maybe in the mix and shifting things around, bringing Duggan back in, are you, are you happy with how it looks? Well, not tonight. <laughs> so... Um, well, I need to look at the vision. I need to look at how we go about it, um, missed opportunities, all those sort of things. So we'll, we'll work through that. We've got some good availability, so that's good for us. Um, our Waffle Boys play tomorrow. They're alive too in their season, so we'll assess all that in the next 24 hours. I mean, the Premiership has been one from outside the top four before. If you were to finish fifth, how confident are you that you can go all the way? To the how confident? Yeah, well... Of course, you know, we um, you probably, if you miss top four, this this is the one loss you can have this is today. We've got to win four in a row, I suppose. But I haven't thought that deeply about it. Um, this is a missed opportunity tonight. We're really disappointed. Um, that The way we played is not going to stand up in uh, in the final. So we've got to play better. But, you know, we're coming off a pretty good game last week, albeit we, we didn't get the victory. Um, and we've been in a pretty good space in the back half of the season. So we, we need to find a way to draw upon the good stuff. Um, acknowledge and be pretty pragmatic with the bad stuff and then get on with it. Will you go to the Waffle game tomorrow? Will I go to the Waffle game? I'm just thinking about Rich Richmond, Brisbane. Will you sort of keep an eye on that or will you go oh, I can't do anything about that other than put my Brizzy scarf on. <laughs> so I'll be going to our Waffle game for sure. What sort of chance of Brisbane do you think? I don't know. Uh, hopefully a good chance. <laughs> we just, you don't want to be in a situation. I mean, Hawthorne are probably in the same, really, where they've got to go watch the game and the results of other teams determine whether you, where you finish. So we, we missed that opportunity. So bitterly disappointed about that. But we've got to find a way to reflect and move on. And that, that probably starts tonight on how we handle it. And then um, we'll get on with it. There's a week off, so plenty of time to, to reflect and then, then get positive. Such a big occasion last week against Richmond at the G. In hindsight, did that maybe take a bit out of everyone? Uh, I, I don't know. I think we've been around long enough to, to handle those big games. I mean, we probably had six or seven players who didn't play last late last year. Um, and some of those players are, are young. So, But that's not an excuse. You know, we're, we're, we're better than what we did tonight. But I've got to acknowledge what Hawthorne did. Like, it wasn't like uh, we just rolled over. And I might have looked like that. The way they played was pretty consistent all, all game. And the way they competed... Um, and how clean they were got us in the end. Did, did you expect, like Ben McAvoy down back and these couple of things? I know you've worked with Clarko, so you know he pulls things out of the hat every now and then. Did you expect that to happen? And the oh, he did that last week. Mm. So, you know, we planned for that. Um, where he was going to start this week, we, you don't quite know, but I think it was more about effort tonight than, and, than strategy. So um, they, we weren't surprised with anything that they did. They just executed it really well and we didn't handle it. Pretty heavy knock to his ribs. Yeah, I'm not sure. He, he, he's um, he's pretty tough. So, um, you know, like all of our players, we'll keep backing them in. And we've got their backs. And, you know, as long as they keep bringing spirit, we'll keep backing them in. Are you a bit shocked, Adam, how quickly the ladders turned? I think it was only eight days ago. You were two games, Ambassinage clear in the four. And right now you're out of it. 
No, I'm not. No, I, I don't deal in. I don't really live. I think we've spoken about this a fair bit. You keep asking me about it, but I, I we just want to keep winning. And um, unfortunately, we didn't do that tonight. So where, where we fall will be where we fall, and then we'll get on with it. Tommy Barris, fantastic season, fantastic young player, but he's had a couple of tough weeks. And with someone like Tom, do you pull him aside and just say, what's going on? Or do you not agree with that? Or uh, I'm just going to keep backing him in. Yeah, he's, um, he hasn't let me down too often, and our players in our club. So you look at all the things he does well, um, you know, and you've got to improve too, and we'll be honest. But, yeah, he's a, he's a fine young player, and I'm going to keep backing him in. Willie Rioli said just to keep improving week on week. What have you made of his progress and also fitness and all midfield time? Yeah, Willie, we missed a lot of footy this year, so he's pretty much in his second year, mm. like a lot of our players. And, um, yeah, he keeps keeps standing up in, in big moments, so I think he likes the big stage. He's a typical Rioli. And, um, yeah, we've been really happy with his form since he's come back and his, his fitness has improved every week and he's going to be important for us going forward. Season. You've been playing like a good quarter here and there yeah. and not sustaining it. Can you put your finger on why that is? Uh, it's a good question. Yeah, playing four quarters is difficult for anyone, I think. Um, and eight days ago, we were two games clear in the top four. So um, we, we, we're, we're yearning for that. I think everyone is uh, to, to get good four quarter effort. The, the way the finals are played and, and what we need to get to is probably not the way we've been playing at the moment. And then I reflect on the last few weeks and the back half of the season, and, and we haven't been too far off. So today we were a lot off, but we're not going to try and reinvent the wheel in the next 10 days. You still know that your best is good enough, though, don't you? Like your, your first quarter against Richmond last week and elements tonight. Your, your best footy is good enough if you, if you can produce it? More yeah, I, I think probably the, you look at that and you, you look at the way we move the ball a little bit. I think we're... We're traditionally a bit better than that, just the way we move the footy. So our best is as good as anyone's um, if we're winning our own ball and competing hard and being predictable and the fundamentals are there. That's the that's the bit we're, we're, we're yearning for. But, yeah, we're not going to completely try and flip things 180. So we've got some work to do, but we're alive. One thing that might flip it a, a bit is trying to include Nick into this piece and whether you keep Tom Hickey in the side and Oscar yep. Allen... How are you going to work that out in the next 10 days? Well, hopefully it's a good problem to have. I think he trained again today and he ticked another box. Um, you know, Nick played 17 games for us last year, really helped us set up the front half of the season. To get where we are at the moment without him for probably 20 games, um, you know, in particular our mids, I think in stoppages, we had a, a good win tonight. Not to say that's the be-all and end-all, but he complements our, our team, mm. um, no doubt. So we'll, we'll find... You know, we'll, we'll go through that match committee and find out if we can play both and we've done it before um, but he's definitely one of our best players if not our best so if we get him back that's that's good for us Is a week off come at a pretty good time for you now? I don't know I, Yeah, trying to handle this is something we've got to reflect on and you know what our players need to hear um, how we need to improve you know, we'll go through all that so yeah, we're pretty honest at the club we, we, we know what we need to improve on so yeah, quite often when you play like you did, we did tonight, you want to get back on the on the horse pretty quick, but you know, we can't do that. So we'll, we'll take our time, but we'll, we'll be pretty pragmatic. What What did you learn from 2016 when you were in an elimination final? The dogs came over here after a week off, oh, and yeah. you were coming off a grand final the year before. What did you learn from that part that maybe you can use here? Oh, it's on the I'm, spot, I know. <laughs> I well, 17, we we made the finals in the last game, and we won it after the siren mm. victory in Port Adelaide so oh, our group's been through I mean we've been up for a while we've been up probably since you know obviously 15 and onwards we've had um, plenty of experience in finals and we've won plenty of finals so um, we'll keep drawing on those experiences um, but I haven't thought too deeply about 2016 I think we've probably evolved a little bit since then. Mm.